So today what we are going to cover is I'm going to show you how to put an outline onto yourself like you see on those YouTube videos where the cover has an outline of someone. So how do you make that yourself? So the first things that you need are a few pieces of equipment. You need some kind of camera, which you can use your cell phone or whatever, it really doesn't matter. But one of the biggest pieces is you need some kind of green screen because you need to be able to cut yourself out of the picture. Now you can do this at home if you have just like, you know, a white or any solid color wall, it's not gonna be as good. It's much easier with a green screen, but I'm still gonna show you how to do it. All right, so let's get into it. So we're gonna assume that you've taken a picture of yourself behind some kind of green screen and we're ready to cut yourself out, create the slide and put it up into YouTube. Let me show you how to do all that. All right, so the first thing that you're gonna see on my screen is you're gonna see Photoshop, yes. You do need some kind of photo editing software. I use Adobe Photoshop because it's by and large probably the best one out there, the easiest one to use to edit. So let me show you how to cut yourself out of the picture if you took your picture with a green screen. If you didn't, I'll show you some ways to do that as well. All right, so I'm just gonna select any image that I have up on the screen here. You can see, so I have a couple sample images here, things that I've been playing around with. I'm just gonna pick this one right here. It's gonna pop up in one second. All right, so we've got our picture. So now I took a picture, this picture was taken with a webcam and the webcam was able to cut out some of the green screen by itself and this is the picture that it gave me. But it really doesn't matter if your background's white, black, green, any solid color like that, we're gonna be able to cut yourself out. So how do you do it? And let's say you didn't even have a green screen, how would you cut yourself out of this picture? Let me show you. So the first thing I'm gonna do in Photoshop is I'm gonna go to select all I'm gonna copy and paste just so I'm on a new layer. Then I'm gonna ask myself what I want the background to be. In this instance, I want the background to be white. So I'm gonna create a new layer down here. Oops, I'm gonna create a new layer and I am gonna make that layer white by clicking on my paint bucket tool, selecting the color white, paint bucket tool, and simply pressing on the screen. You can see that I've made it white when I hide and unhide my layers. And I'm assuming that you have some, some basic knowledge of Photoshop here because I'm going through some of these steps kind of quickly. Uh, but just to rehash, I've copied myself on a new layer and I've created a white background here. Now it's time to actually cut myself out of the image. How do I do that? The easiest, easiest way is to use the magic wand tool, especially when you have a nice solid color like this. Now, one of the things you're gonna pay attention to is this thing called tolerance. Tolerance is how much the colors are gonna, so like, let's say it's, I'm selecting black here. How tolerant do I want it to be of other colors? The higher it is, the more it's gonna select. So I have it on 15. Let's just select 100 here so you can see what, 100 selects the whole entire, it just selected everything. Well, let's see what happens when I do 50. Oops, I'm on this background layer. That's why it's doing that. Look what happens when it does 50. It literally selects a lot of my shirt. Well, I don't like that. I don't wanna have to mess with this. So let's see what happens when I select 15, which is a much better number in my opinion for this. Oh, much better. Look at that. My whole self is basically selected here, almost out of the picture. I'm gonna select just backspace, just delete, and I've almost pretty much deleted most of the picture that I need deleted out of here. Now I'm gonna deselect, I'm gonna pick up uh, just a selection tool right here and delete. You know what, I don't even need to delete some of that. I'm just simply gonna crop this image a bit. Voila, I've cropped the image. Now. What I'm going to do, I need to get rid of this little, these little selection points over on the screen here. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. It's always good to zoom in. I'm a big fan of zooming in in Photoshop. Now, since I'm doing this kind of quick, since y'all are watching at home, I'm going to do this pretty quickly. So if it's not 100% perfect, that's okay. Because I could zoom in all the way here and make this like really good, but I don't need to do that for this example. You know, whenever I'm doing examples, I like, I don't need you to watch me for like four hours go through and make this 100% perfect. You need to see how to do it. You can see I'm smoothing out the edges just a bit. Boom, boom, boom. 
erasing all the bad stuff here. Let's scroll up and see if there's more. I could clean up these edges a little bit, but it's fine. And to be honest with you, you're not even gonna notice those edges when I zoom out, especially, especially when I add something to, let me just clean this up a little bit though, because that will frustrate me. As soon as you add your border, you're totally not gonna even notice these edges at all. Let's zoom out and see where there's problems. Uh, yeah, that's okay, we can delete that. Okay, now there's some black in here that I wanna get rid of, so let's get rid of these colors, these extra colors. That's all around the headphones. And there's gonna be a little more stuff that I need to erase here to clean this up a little bit. That's the wire. We can actually just get rid of that. I'm not, no one's gonna notice whether it's there or not. I think it actually looks better without it. And we can clean this inside here up a little bit. And I think that's about it, right? I'm cut out of the picture pretty good, not bad. Um, so I like that. Okay, so I'm cut out of the picture. Now what I need to do is I need to ask myself, well, what color border do I wanna give myself? How do I wanna do this? Okay, so I'm gonna go back under this layer too, and I'm gonna, so I'll, I need to pick a color right now. So I'm gonna pick a color. Let me put my pick color thing back up on the screen. I'm gonna pick a nice teal color. The reason I'm gonna pick a teal color is because I'm a, a professor at UNCW and that's our colors. Well, you know what? Let's just say that's the best we're gonna get right there. So I picked a color. I'm gonna click my paint bucket. If you're not seeing your paint bucket or any tools, you're gonna to click these three dots here and find, you can find edit toolbar and find any tool that you need. Um, basically, that's because Photoshop 2020, sometimes things are hidden based on your default settings. So if you can't find something, that's how you do it. All right, I've selected this paint bucket. I'm gonna go select layer two and I'm gonna click here. Now I've selected my layer. Now what I need to do is I need to do, there's two things I need to do. One, I need to add my white border. And two, I can either create a whole background that's gonna be the size of my slide, which is what I'm gonna do, or I, I'll, be, I'll just be able to ship this slide over to the next piece of software we have to use to implement this. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. First thing that I'm doing right now, I need to go back to my layer with my person, which is me, there I am. Hey there, I'm gone, I'm here, I'm gone, I'm here. Okay. <laughs> I could have fun with that all day long. So what we're going to do is I am going to now give myself, and I made myself gone, I'm going to give myself the white border. So how do I do that? I'm going to go to layer, layer style, and I'm going to click something called stroke. It's the stroke is what gives us this border. Oh, look, it already popped up and did it. But here is the actual screen. So what happens is this pops up and I'm gonna just move the mouse over, just move the screen over a little bit just so you can see it. But here is the size. So I can pick how big or, you know, ginormous do I want this? And you can see there's a little error right there. We're gonna fix that in a second. So let's see, how, how thick do we want it? Like that, a nice thickness? I Do I want it on the outside? Inside means it's like coming in at me, which we don't want. So we want this on the outside, blend mode normal. We can make it how, what is the opacity we want it. I'm, I have it 100% and I can pick a color. I can pick red if I want. I can pick any color I wanted to here. Ooh, that's a really obnoxious color. I like that, that's really obnoxious. Now we're gonna stay with, with white uh, and I'm just gonna enter the code in which is FFF uh, or actually th six of them to be exact. But I'm gonna select okay because I'm, surrounded by my color right now. And what I'm gonna do is I am going to take my eraser and just delete these two. There were two dots there that I just couldn't see earlier. Now, the next thing that I'm gonna do is I need to make my canvas the same size that YouTube requires. So this is how you give yourself the white border. If that's all you were trying to do, you're done. You don't need to see more. What I'm gonna show you the next step is how to get this ready for YouTube so that it can be a YouTube thumbnail. All right, so if I'm gonna make this a YouTube thumbnail, what I'm gonna do is I am gonna go to edit, or I'm gonna go to image canvas size. Pull up my canvas size here. I'm gonna pull this up into pixels. So I'm gonna make this 1280 by 7 
20. That'll give me a good like exact YouTube thumbnail size. So I'm gonna click OK. I'm gonna proceed. You can, look what happened. My image shrunk, because my thing was too big. Is this a big deal? Not a big deal at all. We're gonna select on our layer. We're gonna go, if this, so if this happens to you, I, I could just edit this out of the video, but I just wanna show you how I'm gonna fix this. I'm just gonna go to free transform and I'm gonna shrink myself down to the right size. I was just too big. And so what I'm looking at now, I'm looking at the entire thumbnail. So I'm gonna put myself over to the right hand side. I'm gonna click enter just so I can put some text here. Now I'm not gonna put this text in in Photoshop. I'm gonna actually take this into PowerPoint to edit it. So let's do that. All right, so you can see my white border got kind of big here. So do I wanna change that? I can double click on my stroke here and I can make it a little thinner so that it looks a little better with my actual slide. All right, what we're gonna do is we are gonna go to export, export as. We're just gonna export this as a JPEG. Okay, oh, PNG is fine as well. We'll just use, oh, we don't need PNG. Let's use JPEG. We don't need this to be transparent. Okie dokie, I'm gonna click export and we're just gonna export this right to my desktop, super easy. Okay, we're done in Photoshop, that's it. Don't need to save it. Now what I'm gonna do is I am gonna pull up PowerPoint. We're gonna put this on a PowerPoint slide so that we can save it for YouTube. All right, let me pull PowerPoint up here. I'm gonna click a blank presentation. I'm gonna go to insert picture, this device. We're gonna find our image we just worked with. And look at that, it's the exact size of the slide. And now we can do whatever we want. We can start to add stuff. So I could add, you know, I could click this and say like, my presentation by Dr. Ray Pastor. And this could be my slide. I could do something like this, 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 this. You know, I could do whatever. I could give it a name, all that stuff. As soon as I'm done here, I'm, my slide is ready to go to YouTube. I would simply click File, Save As. I can save it wherever I wanna save it. I do have a file, a place where I put all my background. I'm gonna enter my file name in and I'm gonna click JPEG. This saves the PowerPoint slide as a JPEG. And then when I'm in YouTube and I create my video when it says upload thumbnail, I'm just gonna pick this image and that's it. That's all you do. That's how you create these custom thumbnails. That's how you create one with yourself having this white or whatever color border around it that people like to use right now. Um, so that's it. Pretty simple to do, pretty easy, pretty fun. And it's kind of cool. You get to play around with some different pieces of software, which I like, which is always fun. But yeah, it does take some time to create a good thumbnail. So give it a try. Let me know in the comments. Um, how you did and if you have any issues or questions let me know hopefully i can help you out um, when you do ask questions and stuff always tell me like I'm, I'm working from a pc so i'm showing you this stuff from a pc so if you're on a mac things might be a little different sometimes i get people asking me mac questions and i can't i don't have access to a mac i only have a pc so it's it's a little more harder to answer questions but you know what photoshop and powerpoint are pretty much exactly the same on the mac so you should be good all right later all good luck